Hey, this is Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. I'm going to show you some really great literacy activities. Some of them go with books. Some of them are standalone. Um, also, a couple of fine motor kind of focus activities as well. Um, in fact, I'm going to start with that one. I think it is the best. So, and it's so easy. So, so easy. So, I have this little mat um, with all these little wintry things, these snowflakes and these snowmen. How I made this, you guys are going to die. I opened the copier, you know, the big lid, and on the glass, I scattered these. Closed the lid, printed, that's it. I printed four copies of this, laminated it, and then I just put these um, erasers out. So if you don't have these particular erasers, put anything you want on it. Anything you've got. Target, Dollar Spot always has themed um, erasers uh, in like little bundles. I usually get four because then I know I have enough for all my kiddos. But this takes a lot of concentration. They've got to pick up those erasers. If you wanted, you could add tongs to it. I think that might increase the level of difficulty too much. But they stay busy with this and they match those guys up. And it's a great activity and super easy to prep. Um, I like to make hats out of everything. Uh, last year I cut these little circles and then I punched out circles. I've got these little carrots and hats and we made snowman hats. You could do it with anything for winter. You could do it with snowflakes and they could be a little snow fairy or whatever you want. So that's a great activity. I showed this in my literacy video. Um, this is first letter of their name and just some cut squares, super easy to prep. All you need is a piece of paper, a Sharpie, and some paper squares cut up to cover your letter. I added white crayon to my table and the kids could just draw little snowflakes or swirling snow or whatever they wanted. Um, we did this a few years ago. I have not done this recently, but these turned out so, so cute. They're super messy. But what I did was I had die cut circles and um, three sizes the kids glued them on the paper made little arms we used puffy paint and i just had them put puffy paint it's a little smashed it's been in my um lesson plan boxes but um they put puffy paint on the circles uh put in a little this is like a little orange pipe cleaner chenille stick just cut down they drew arms when it dried, we did the buttons and the eyes, but what we did to make it look like snow, so I just took some white temper paint and added some water. Then we put toothbrushes into that paint and we just kind of like put our finger on the bristles and kind of pulled them back and got kind of a splatter effect that way. Or you could just like have the kids kind of tap them like that on their paper and it looks like snow and they put these up in, um, on a gas station bulletin board near our school um, because they just support our school and they love us to make art for them. But that was a super fun activity. You could make a whole snowman that way or a little snowman head. Another thing, I like paper plate activities. So I've got this little paper plate. I printed out some snowmen and some trees and just cut them out to glue on. You could do die cuts, the kids could draw. But we just painted the um, top section of the plate blue when it dried. We added our trees and our snowman and just some cotton balls to make kind of like a snow globe look. You could put a clear uh, paper plate on top of this to make it really look like a snow globe. I've seen people um, take pictures of their kids in their snow clothes and add those instead of a snowman. I think I wanna do that this year. That's a really cute idea. But this is pretty easy. It's just a paper plate craft. Another fun thing is I like to take coffee filters because they're so thin and teach the kids how to make snowflakes. So we fold them in half and then we fold them the other way. So now we've got a thickness of four and this is about all I would do for my preschool guys who are really, really working on using scissors. Pre-K kids, I'm gonna do one more fold like that. And then, I don't have any kids scissors here. I have them at home, but I didn't get them out for this. Then I just kind of tell them, you know, you just cut any shapes you want out of the sides. 
you can cut the middle right here. I love cutting snowflakes. I love the effect. Okay, so we cut the middle. Cut a couple notches out here. Maybe cut another little triangle out here. And then we open, open them up. And you've got a snowflake. And then right when they make a snowflake, we go and we hang these up in the classroom or out in the hallway and we make everything look really, really wintry. Once we've done this for one day, the kids can make as many as they want because they have thousands of coffee filters. Um, they uh, will do these as a starter when they come in and we're waiting for everybody to come in. I'll have a bunch of these folded on a table with some scissors out on some trays to catch the mess that I didn't catch here. I'm gonna to have to vacuum when I'm done. But they just make a million snowflakes. Another thing that I've done that is so, so pretty is I will give them the coffee filters, but I will have blue, purple, and I found this really cool, I think it's Colorations, I get it from Discount School Supply. I think you can find it at Lakeshore and some other places. Um, some silver liquid watercolor, and we use our little pipettes or our droppers, and we color the coffee filters first. They dry. The next day, we do the folding and the cutting. They are stunning. We have an art show every year. I always let the kids do a couple because they want to take one home, but I save the best one, and I will glue it onto a piece of black paper, and I'll put it on their board for the art show because they are so beautiful. I wish I had one to show you, but like I said, the kids make them. Um, um, but anyway, they love this. This can keep them busy for hours. They ask me to put these out almost every day in the winter. Another thing I like to do is pair my winter crafts with books because there are so many great winter books. So I've got the snowy day right here, which is I think my favorite, favorite winter book. So we'll read the snowy day and we talk about, we live in Utah, so we get a lot of snow. We talk about what we would do if we woke up and we didn't have to go to school or anything. And there was snow everywhere. What would we do? Would we go sledding? Would we make a snowman? Would we have a snowball fight? Some kids are like, I'd stay inside and drink hot cocoa and watch the snowflakes fall and, you know, hang out with my mom or whatever. So then I have this little sheet of what, on a snowy day, I would. There's four of them, so I cut these into fours and I ask the kids when they come to my center, I have them working on a craft where I have cut the snow and I have cut the little boy um, in this little red snowsuit and the little face and I do um, multi-colored faces. So every range of skin color and they can choose what color they want their kid to be. Um, they glue these elements on and then they use their finger and they make the snowflakes and we add a little snow glitter. While they're working on it, I say, what would you do on a snowy day? And I write that um, on this little piece of paper for them and put their name on it. And then we display these in the hallway uh, with their, like on a snowy day, I would. And the parents love to come by and see those. And they are so cute. Another fun craft I like to do is I read Snowballs, which um, Lois Eller, all of her books, are so artsy so like here's the little snow dog that they make they just talk about saving good stuff to um, like look they save good stuff in a sack for a snowy day and then they go out and make a snow family so I just have them make the snowman's faces out of a paper plate and I showed this in my literacy um, video as well but for this one I had like on, I just put out like a sectional tray almost like one of those little party veggie trays that you can find at the dollar store i have a bunch of those and this one had raisins macaroni and cheese not macaroni and cheese that would be so gross but macaroni look they put a little earring on this one buttons uh pom-poms tissue squares beans anything i can think of and markers and they just made a little snow lady little snow guy oh gosh okay it's hard for me with the mirroring of the the computer screen, but this one, they use the buttons as eyes. They used a lot of pom-poms and beans and popcorn kernels, a little white lima bean for a nose. I've had kids make the dog, the cat, 
but this is a really fun activity and we will display these in our classroom in our classroom bulletin board so those are some of my favorite winter crafts none of them are really complicated um, you can do these super easily and after you get back from Christmas break you kind of want a chill week anyway so those are some ideas I'm sure you've got a million that you already do but I hope you've enjoyed and maybe get some inspiration